In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the timeline in Microsoft Project. You've probably noticed that by default, the timeline is displayed within your schedule. There's a new feature introduced back in 2010. It was pretty cutting edge back then. It's still pretty cool now. To access it, what you need to do is click on the View ribbon from anywhere in Microsoft Project and come in here in the split view and click on Timeline. Oops, I clicked it too many times, but there you go. All right, so when we do that, we're going to see that the, we have the timeline format bar at the top and the timeline here appears on my screen and I can make that as big or as small as I like. There it is. In fact, I can pull it all the way out and it goes away altogether. If I click on view, I can bring it back. In fact, if I bring it down nicely, we can see it. Um, you'll notice that the timeline is actually a way to navigate through your project schedule on this one the right, on the bottom right hand corner you can see my Gantt chart moving along let's see if I make this wider I can see that again because I'm showing more Gantt chart my timeline increases so it's kind of a way to look around your project it's also a great way to graphically represent what's happening with your project what I like to do is put in here some key summary tasks some tasks and some milestones let me show you how to do it so you know for my project here let's click in here and let's go to outline level one right so it's fully rolled up i'm going to put event planning olympic village in aquatic center right click add to timeline and there we go we can see the event planning olympic village in aquatic center you can also see the progress of those summary tasks the dark blue is the progress complete and the light blue is the work yet to be completed got a couple of options here you can actually change the color of these if you want make it yellow for the aquatic center it's a shame to change it from blue but maybe we'll go for a light blue there you go kind of tricky if you're trying to see the progress but it's always darker into lighter if you remember that you can also put individual tasks if i come into olympic village here and maybe i'll put planning and review so it's the sub sub task and the task and let's Select those two and right click, add the timeline. Boom, there you go, you can see planning phase and the task. Oh, we can even see that review is complete with a little check mark there. Now it does become a bit, little bit difficult to read things, right? If you're putting a whole ton of different things within the timeline. So I'm gonna suggest that you come in here and actually probably remove those shorter tasks or just stick with summary tasks, key tasks and milestones. You could also even come in here and say, right, let's make our tasks green, right? So we know that those are the tasks, things like that. You can also add milestones, planning complete, add that to the timeline. And boom, straight away, you can see that showing up. And we can drag these labels around. We can even drag the event planning right out of there as well. So we just see in the, how, when that's happening, kind of in parentheses there, and you can bring it back in anytime you like as well pretty neat right I like that you also have the option to export this timeline if you want to see it in other applications you can also add secondary timelines in here as well I can add a new timeline bar and see two different parts of my project potentially or different two different focus areas uh, what I want to do is show you how you can actually copy this and export it so I'm actually going to keep this clean I'm going to remove that second timeline right click Remove timeline bar. There we go. Um, what we're also going to do is show you how to copy it. So copy timeline. You've got different three level, different levels of compression for email, presentation, or full size. Different levels of compression for email is going to be the smallest. Then presentation, optimized for PowerPoint, and then full size is full size rendering. I'm going to do for presentation. Okay, so we've copied that for presentation. Now I'm going to open up a PowerPoint presentation, like so. On PowerPoint all right PowerPoint's taking a while let's go ahead and put it straight into Word and there you go you can see it so it would look much nicer if it was on a PowerPoint presentation, obviously, but there we go. All right. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you like this. Please subscribe to my channel if you found this useful.